Hey, in this video I want to show you how to use the WP query uh, method in creating loops in WordPress. Uh, WP query uh, option for loops in WordPress is actually quite powerful. You have a lot of different parameters and options in terms of what you loop out. You can choose a custom post type to loop out. You can specify a specific category. You could loop out, uh, let's say, uh, author posts, things like that. So I just want to show you a basic example of uh, WP query in action. And this is the documentation page, so definitely make note of this. I'll have a link to it as well. So there's some examples of here, and if it's usage, things like that. And uh, what I want to show you guys today in the is the category parameter. So essentially, we want to create a loop with just a specific category. So here I have a local installation of a WordPress website. Let me just go ahead and. Uh, preview it here. So a very simple basic theme, nothing special. Uh, there's a slideshow here. Uh, this is just a jQuery slideshow. So you can just pick up any jQuery plugin slideshow that you like and you can, you'll can you see how you can uh, incorporate a WordPress loop into it and get it to work. So here it is here. This is a flex slider slideshow. Here I have some LIs, uh, list items for each slide uh, based on the documentation for this particular slideshow. So if you find a different plugin for your slideshow, it might look a little bit different, but the idea, the basic principle is still the same. So what we want to have is this list item looped out with the corresponding post uh, image and uh, the title, uh, things like that. So what we want to do first is uh, set up our posts. So here they are right here. They're good to go. In my particular theme, I already have uh, enabled uh, thumbnails for each post. So if I click into a post example, I'll see that in the right sidebar, I have a featured image here with an image tied to this post. If I go back to my post again, and I should have the a different image here, et cetera, et cetera. So one thing you'll notice is that I have a category slideshow. So I created a new category called slideshow. So that's good to go. So meaning that anytime I create a post in here, I just have to check off slideshow, make sure I have a featured image in here, and it'll show up in the loop as well. So this is what we want to do right now. So uh, based on this criteria, what I want to do is create this uh, parameter here, essentially uh, requesting a category with the ID of the um, category ID here. So I'll show you how to get that ID as well. So let's just set, set this up in our index.php. So we'll have to identify first where we want that loop to occur. So we want these list items to loop out. So I'm going to just erase these right here. So this will get repeated uh, every time there's a post with the category of slideshow selected. So first thing we want to create is our query. So let's do that now. Okay, and let's see, dollar sign query. This is just a variable name. You can, of course, uh, create um, uh, any variable name that you wish. So in here, we want to create an array. This is an associative array. In our case, we want to target the category ID. So category, and we want to target the ID. So where would we get this number? So here they put four as an example, but in our case, it may be different. So if you head back over to your categories section in your WordPress installation, so I want you to look down over here in the bottom left-hand corner. So if I mouse over this, you'll see that URL pop up. So if you look at this, you'll see category and tag ID equals two. So that's what I'm looking for, that two number. So if I, if I for instance, mouse over on categories that has category and tag ID of equals one. So every time you create a new category, there's an ID associated with it. So uh, in our case, uh, we want to, let me go back to index, oops, scroll to the top. And so we want two, so that, that's it right there. So perfect, so we have our query set up. So now we need to create or a loop. So let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this uh, query up a bit outside of the flex, bo uh, flex slider, if you will. And the reason for that is that really what you want to set up is an if statement. So if you have posts with the category of ID2, then uh, create this HTML and then have that loop happen in here. Because if, if there's no post with the slideshow category, then you really don't need any of this at all, right? So let's do that now. So if, so here you'll have to use the dollar sign query half posts. So in other words, think of this as saying if the half post, if you have half uh, post with this following query, then you know it's true. So in our case, we want to then show this slideshow off and if cool. So we have our if statement here and we end it down over here. And where we want to create our loop is actually in here. So you, you'll do while. So in here we want to do again query half posts. OK, 
Okay, so while we have those post, the post. Oh, instead of just the post, make sure that you put dollar sign query the post because we want to make sure we're always tying back to this in our WP query loop. So this will generate the post, so we'll get that post data and let's go ahead and PHP and while. And don't forget to close PHP right here. It's perfect. So I'm just going to save this here. And if we did everything right, we should have three identical uh, list items show up on this home page. Let's go ahead and refresh this home page. Here it is, the same image over and over again. So if I use my inspector here, I can see that we have three of them. One, two, three. And the reason why I'm looking for three is because if we go to our post area and our local installation, we have one, two, three. So we had four, and it would, it would be four items. But as you can see here, they're all the same image. So we need to start making this a dynamic. So let's go ahead and start off with the title, the underscore title. And let's go ahead and put the permalink in here. The permalink. Cool. And uh, let's see. Let's see. We got that going. So the last thing I'm going to save this for the last part, just so you can see that it is in fact working. So I'm going to refresh this page again, and I can see this post three, post two, and post one. And the permalink is exactly right for each of those. So. So far, so good. So we want to now output the actual featured image that's tied to each post. So if I click into a post and I look over here, I'll see, oh, this one doesn't even have an image. So let's go ahead and grab one. Here we go. I already ha had uploaded these before. Update that. Make sure you have images here. So if you don't, you won't have a post uh, image appearing. Uh, let me just check on post two as well. Okay, there we have image there as well. And finally, let me just check post one. And we have an image there as well. Cool. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what we want to do in here, oops, scroll to the top, uh, replace this image portion because this is just the same image pulled from our theme. We want to replace this with a function called the post thumbnail. Just a really basic version of that as well. So save that. And what that'll do is just grab the featured image that we had uploaded and place it in here into our slideshow. So if I refresh this page, we have an image. Oops, looks like I have the same image in two posts. So let's go ahead and see if we can correct that real quick, just so we have three different images. So post two could use a new image. So let me click on post two. And instead of this image, I believe I have three. I'll go ahead and pick this one here. Just so you can see there's three different images. Make sure to update that post. Uh, give it a second. There we go. Refresh this page. And there we go. So we have three different images and they're tied to. So now moving forward, if you want to create a brand new post, brand new post, for instance, you just set a featured image, upload whatever image you wish. I'll go with the cats again. Make sure you, that you tag it. So if you don't tag slideshow, it won't appear. So if I publish this now, this brand new post title, for instance, just so you could see, if I refresh this here, now it appears over here, but it does not appear in our slideshow because in our slideshow we specify we just want category two. So that's the only category that would appear. So once I hit this check mark on slideshow, click update, give that a second. Okay, and refresh the page and you'll see brand new post appearing right here. And one very important final thing, uh, make sure that if you look at the example here at the very top, you'll see that they included this uh, WP reset post, make sure to include that in your loop as well. So that way, if you create other uh, WP qu query posts in your theme, you won't have any issues with multiple WP query uh, loops on your theme. So this just resets the post data so that you can start a brand new WP query somewhere else on your theme. And that's it.